The White House is set to release an executive order this week calling on federal agencies to review cryptocurrencies and study the potential creation of a U.S. digital dollar. Joining me right now is Bitcoin Policy Institute fellow and Florida, uh, Florida Atlantic University assistant professor of economics, William Luther. William, great to have you this morning. Thanks so much for being here. What are you expecting from this executive order and how do you think the market changes with these boundaries and regulatory frameworks in place? Well, I think the administration has uh, been foreshadowing this uh, executive order for some time now. Um, I think it's pretty clear that uh, they aren't interested in stamping out cryptocurrencies in general. They, they recognize the potential that, that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum offer. Um, and instead, they just want to make sure that, that exchanges are complying with know your customer laws, um, uh, and uh, that individuals are reporting their, their capital gains, the, the sort of regulations that we already have on the books. Um, they just want to uh, make those things a bit more clear. Good mid afternoon or good evening, 6 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and yes, I'm doing an update on my phone, but I turned it sideways because I had that clip to show you in the beginning. But I'm going to let you finish watching that clip at the end of this video. So don't go anywhere. It's important. It at least lets you understand what's going on with the market and what's going on with the crypto regulations. We've got a lot of fear in the market, and this is good. We're going to eat this up soon. Um, I got a few potential targets here for if we do have this sudden reversal. Casper is getting shredded right now, and I think it's a very good uh, setup that's starting to form here in the weekly. And I only say that because it's come outside of this symmetrical that I created, but that, like I said, needed to come out farther. But we don't know how far it's going to go. Is it going to line up with that low support, which maybe that's what it was going to do. But it actually fits a little bit better like this, and I think Casper is actually lining up. If it can hold the 623 for a pretty incredible trade opportunity here, because I think what's going on here is obviously there's room to pump on a lot of these and a lot of fear in the market. I don't think it's necessarily going to go back up to 16 cents, but what I could see is this riding up to some of these smaller uh, spots. But in this symmetrical, there's been a wide span of how this has actually played out, and it's been pretty interesting in the weekly. So Casper's definitely a potential here if it holds 623. There is one more lower spot, though, that we have to talk about because this is a distinct possibility that we might come down here and reestablish this. And this is what I want to show you guys. When we haven't come down and have any kind of history for this, it's hard. But watch this. Watch what can happen. And I'll, I'll create a new uh, arrow here. And I'll reset it up for you real quick. So if it's going to hit this line right here, this might in fact come all the way like out to here and then you might have to have something like this play up so we could get stuck in between something like that ladies and gentlemen and it's i mean it's just something we're gonna have to deal with here so that's what we're looking at and if it does drop off there and this is the biggest problem here because it is possible we have more of the sell the news right now and that's 17 percent just to get down to here you know that's another 18 percent um, so we're going to have to see how this plays out, but it is possible we started a symmetrical bounce here, but to, for anybody's guess here, it's, it's really anybody's guess because you could even start it here with Casper because we don't have any history. You could even start here and try to say we're going to bounce something like this, which might be okay, you know, but what if it's a double bottom support? Then you'd have to bring this back out. And these are all the things you have to consider when you're deciding. So to me, where is it showing us right now? No matter what trend we go to, it's showing us right here in this box is the absolute ideal spot. So maybe that 558 when we start to do analytical things like that. Is it trying to tell us that 558 is the perfect buy? We don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. With XTC Tezos, another one that I'm looking real strongly on if this can hold. Because it has history of doing this over and over and I have a target where I had played it down to, and we are getting darn close to this area, guys. We're within the circle, but my target was down here at $2.53 roughly. 
to, to retarget those bottoms. But now that we already did that, we already did that. So now we can say, okay, well, if we're coming down to do the same thing as the other side, now 271 seems to be the target that we're looking for right here. And can it get down there? Meh, with another drop, maybe. We've got um, Bitcoin at 38,659. And I keep saying this looks like a bear trap inside of a much bigger bull trap. And we had to come down and we did. Now it's our time where I honestly believe that we can get up and try to make a push at 41.8. And possibly if this plays out properly, I have a target for this bull tra or this bear trap up to 42,505. And then if it can, actually it's higher than that, up to 48,550 and then possibly breaking out at 50,000, you know, and get rejected hard. So in my short term here, now that we drop down, I'm thinking this is a bear trap. And we could have some big opportunities here. If we hold the daily close, and that's only in 47 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. So it's imperative you join Tom's Army. We've had three new members today. I want to thank each and every one of you because, you know, it's the new month and we drop off. And we had 263 members, but it's going it to drop down to 260. But now with the three new members, that's how I stayed at 263. So I want to thank the three new members today, especially, and the other 260 members aside from you. It's imperative you guys join Tom's Army. I have a class 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. And you don't have to be live. 60 seconds after it ends at 9 p.m., you can watch that hour class. Or you can be live in attendance. And all I ask for is a $5 donation. But the caveat is you have to be part of the Telegram. And the only way to be part of the Telegram, and that's free, is to join Tom's Army on YouTube. And I give you that for free. And then Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, 8 to 9 p.m., you can be part of these unbelievable classes for three hours a week for only $15, $5 a class. That's it. That's all I ask. And it's donation-based. So I see after a while you're not willing to donate and you're just, you know, coming and absorbing the information but not paying it forward. I'll just ban you. It's not after one or two times or, you know, if you're in there every day, if you're not donating $5, I don't care. You know, but just enough here and there to where you're paying it forward. So it's a really cool thing. We're creating something real special and unique to YouTube. There's no $1,000 classes or monthly commitments. It's literally something I believe in. So with Bitcoin, that's what I'm saying. We showed Bitcoin. We got XRP. And I think XRP, like we talked about, if XRP can hold this, we're talking about, I'm still not forgetting, guys, about my line at $1.10. Or 95 cent minimum push here, or not 95 cent, the 804 to 91. But I'm not saying that XRP cannot make a 30% push. I think it's lining up. And I think that we're really going to have some kind of trap set here, a bear trap. And look how far up that wick pulled. I'm telling you guys, this looks like a bull pennant. If you look in the weekly, and I've been pulling it out farther, this looks like a very bullish pattern in the very short term. And then it's going to roll over on itself, likely. So. <laughs> And the monthly's kind of uh, telling us there's going to be some weird shit going on here. Excuse my French. So that's what I'm seeing in the weekly. I really believe like we're in a bear pen, or a bear uh, trap here. And I think we got something special about the build up here. If we can just get this daily close where I want, I'm going to be buying in. If we close this level here on the daily and it's this bottom, I will buy in at a tight stop loss on something. Be part of my telegram. Be part of that 8 to 9 p.m. It's going to be lit and you're going to want to be there. I promise you, you're going to want to be there tonight because if these clothes like this, likely positions will be opened. Would we feel better in the weekly if uh, XLM came down to 16.2? You better freaking believe it. So that could be what happens after the daily close, even if we're bullish. So we're looking for some of these targeted areas in the weekly. Now, as you can see, we pulled it out. So DGB, again, I'm telling you guys, a lot of these have to have pretty substantial reversals. And I wouldn't be surprised if DGB goes up some 60%. If Bitcoin ends up going to 50K because DGB is just not going to be able to roll a couple zeros. It might be able to roll a zero, but it's not going to be able to roll them all. Make sure to hit that like button. Consider joining Tom's Army. Subscribe to the channel and turn that bell notification to all so you can see future content. We're going to finish with that video. I love each and every one of you. Stay blessed. Yeah, we want to understand what the boundaries are. Uh, for example, what about using crypto in this situation today? Ukraine facing a 13th day of deadly attacks from Russia. Has crypto played a role? Well, it has actually. So Ukraine has raised something uh, around $60 million uh, worth of cryptocurrency donations. So it's essentially crowdfunding its, its military efforts. Um, and it's, it's done that using cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
And, and do you think that this gives us another window into usages here? I mean, William, where do you think this is going? Are you expecting a digital dollar? Well, absolutely. I think that, um, you know, even just a few months ago, um, you would have uh, folks talking about uh, Bitcoin being useless, that there was uh, nothing you could do with this, that its value was uh, ultimately zero. I don't see how you can make those arguments today. Uh, Bitcoin allows fast and final payments. And if you're if you're facing an existential threat like like Ukraine is uh, today, then you don't have time to to wait around for three days for a, a bank to clear your your transaction. So today it's very clear that that these cryptocurrencies serve an important role in the global economy. And um, uh, I think that uh, we should expect uh, not just a digital dollar, but, um, but, but digital national currencies more broadly as, as governments try to get in on the game here. Yeah, especially since Visa, MasterCard and PayPal stopped doing business in Russia and uh, you're seeing a freeze on Russian banks and Russia looking to China. Uh, to, to step in here and, and, and help in terms of issuing cards. William, it's a, uh, 